Americans, the United this is States heartbreaking. Supreme Court is going to vote on whether or not 9.7 million Native Americans will have legal rights to their children. And no one's talking about it. Like, no major news outlets are talking about it. I found out about that through TikTok. God bless this app. God bless this app. 9.7 million people. Who cares what race they are? Who cares? 9.7 million people are in fear of the legal rights to their children. Federal reporters revealing startling new details about historic abuse in government-chartered indigenous boarding schools. For more than a century, the government separated indigenous children from their families, sending them to schools that prohibited them from speaking their native languages and forcing them to assimilate. The report from the Department of the Interior found that more than 500 children died at those schools between 1819 and 1969, but that number could climb into the tens of thousands. And America's Hey, quick question. Y'all seem to know a lot on here. Um, can anybody tell me if those Mexican kids are still in those cages? Inside a children's migrant facility. Inside a children's migrant facility have been in the Biden cages in calendar year 2021. Um, uh, Senator, I uh, respectfully disagree with um, your use of uh, the term cages. Fine, you can disagree with it. How many children have been in the Biden cages? I've been to the Biden cages. I've seen the Biden cages. How many children have you detained at the Donna Tent facility in the cages you built to hold kids? How many children have been in those cages? Uh, uh, Senator, I can uh, uh, provide to you the following uh, figure that um, when and let me let me say that when a child i i, I don't child, I, 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 it's a simple question how many children have been in those cages uh, I, I respectfully am not familiar with the term cages and to what you are referring there are enclosures in which they are locked in in which i took photographs and put them out because you blocked the press and didn't want people to see the biden cages these secure facilities in which they are locked down in donna that uh, those facilities how many children have been in them Senator, there are three types of facilities. There's the, the Donna tent cages, the, the Donna tent city. Let's take the Donna facility. How many children have been there? That is a soft-sided facility. It is not a Okay, you're, are you going to answer the question, how many children have been in that facility? I, I will have to circle back with you with the precise number. Oh, by the way, here's a photograph of the Biden cages. That, um, uh, Senator, um, that is precisely why I articulated Children beginning. sleeping on floors, crashed in upon each other. When I took this photograph, the COVID rate, rate of COVID positivity was over 10%. May I, may I speak, Senator? You can answer the question, how many kids have been in these that, conditions? That is precisely why I stated in March of this year that a Border Patrol station is no place for a child, number one. Okay, but number two, all right, that is precisely Secretary Mayorkas, you're not answering my question, so let me ask you this. In the past year, has Joe Biden been down to see firsthand the Biden cages? Senator, I will again. Has Joe Biden been down to see this facility? The, yes or no? The president has not been down to. Okay, the no. Has Kamala Harris been down to see the Biden cages, this facility? Um, yes or no? Uh, the vice president was at the border. Has she been down to see this facility? I know she went to El Paso. Has she seen the Biden cages? They are not cages. And um, what are these walls? Senator, the ha, has, has Kamala Harris seen them? Yes or no? Senator, the the it's a simple question. Yes I, or no? I did, we don't need a paragraph. Yes or no? Has Kamala Harris been down to see these detention facilities? She has not been down. Okay. Has any Democratic senator on this committee been down to see the Biden cages? I will once again disagree with your use of terminology. These facilities, has any Democratic member of this committee given a damn enough to see the children being locked up 
by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris because of your failed immigration policies? Uh, Senator, I cannot speak to um, the members of this committee. You, you, you don't know if any Democrats have been down there? To, to, oh, I, I believe d Democrats have been down. To see this either, facility, yes or no? On a facility. Whether they are members of this committee, I do not know. And All right, let me ask you a different question then. That what we do how, how many women have been sexually assaulted being trafficked into this country in 2021? Senator, I have no ability to determine uh, how many. Okay, you don't know. So you didn't try to find out? Have been um, sexually assaulted in Mexico along the migratory. All right, how about this? How many children have been sexually assaulted by traffickers or other people when they were coming in illegally? I do not have that data. Sir. Okay, so you don't know that either. Let me ask you this. How many illegal immigrants have you released into the United States who were COVID positive? Senator, we, it is our policy to test. Uh, it on why Mexicans should not use the N-word. Because Emiliano Zapata was part black. Because Lupita Nyong'o was born in Mexico. Because Indian and black runaway slaves formed quilombos that fought up slave hunters for decades. Because they filled their prisons with black and brown bodies just like they did their ships. The criminal justice system is a new middle passage. Police brutality, the new genocide. Because Vicente Guerrero, the first black president in North America threatened war against the United States if they tried capturing any runaway slave in Mexico because La Bamba was an African song sung by slaves in the fields of Veracruz. Herman, I like hip hop too. And I understand that your fair rapper drops this word every other line. So tell me this. How many times have you smiled every time someone's called you a beaner? Hermana, does it make you want to wave your hands up in the air like you just don't care when someone calls you a wetback? Come on, we are so fly, they call us illegal aliens. We are so sexy, they call us dirty Mexicans. You should not play music for your ignorance when you say this word. Does it feel as if you have a cotton gin fan tied around your tongue? Does your mouth feel as bloody as Fubel Station? Does it feel like you're a strange fruit, a broken branch dangling, swaying and surrounded by clansmen and children cheering because there is one less of you, hermano y hermana. They used to hang us too for questioning orders, for rejecting white men for acting too brown, and I understand that you grew up in the barrio, that it is hard to see a link between a black struggle and ours, and for this, they have given you number 13. Blue and red, black and yellow, same tactics they used 500 years ago. They teach us now so that we can finish killing each other off, and I know that it is hard to see a link between a black struggle and ours, and for this, they have given you shitty schools that are waiting to spit you out. They Best more in your failure than in your success, but you are so much more than this. So much more than any news, than any tree that they can find. Your mouth does not have to speak as if it had a burning cross for a tongue. I know you have an inferno for a throat. I've seen this when you raise your hand to question, hey, mister. Why does the policeman keep stopping my uncle? Hey, mister, why does the government want to deport my family? You have so much power in your voice. So much rage in the ocean that sleeps in your mouth. So let the moon pull the waves to wash away the master's language. To turn this water into a typhoon that their walls and their guns will not be able to contain. And then they will know the teachings that they have tried so hard to educate out of us. But that our ancestors always knew that black and brown have always been and will fucking always be beautiful.